Dear students, welcome to Maths class. Today we are studying about Fubini's theorem. Double integrals over rectangular regions. If f of x y is continuous on the rectangular region R, defined by the inequalities a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b, c less than or equal to y less than or equal to d, then we can write double integral over R f of x y d a is equal to integral c to d integral a to b f of x y d x d y. That can be written as integral a to b integral c to d f of x y dy dx. This theorem is called Fibonacci's theorem. Integral a to b f of x y dx and integral c to d f of x y dy denotes partial definite integrals. The first integral called the partial definite integral with respect to x is evaluated by holding y fixed and integrating with respect to x and the second integral called the partial definite integral with respect to y is evaluated by holding x fixed and integrating with respect to y. This process is called partial integration and is the reverse process of partial differentiation in which the partial derivatives of a function f of x y are calculated by holding one of the variables fixed and differentiating with respect to the other variable. The two stage, the two stage integration process as in integral c to d integral a to b f of x y dx dy which is equal to integral c to d integral a to b f of x y dx dy is called iterated or repeated integration and the integral is an iterated integral our first question is evaluate the double integral double integral over r y square x da over the rectangle r equal to x y minus 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 1 evaluate this double integral in view of Fibonacci's theorem, the value of the double integral can be obtained from either of the iterated integrals. Integral minus 3 to 2, integral 0 to 1, y square x dy dx. Or integral 0 to 1, integral minus 3 to 2, y square x dx dy. Using the first of these, we obtain double integral over r y square x da is equal to integral minus 3 to 2 integral 0 to 1 y square x dy dx first we may integrate with respect to dy then we will obtain integral minus 3 to 2 we know that integral y square is y cube by 3 here x is taken as constant x therefore 1 by 3 y cube x Lower limit is 0, upper limit is 1. Then that is equal to my integral minus 3 to 2, 1 by 3 x dx. That is equal to x square by 6. Lower integral is minus 3 to 2. Lower limit is minus 3, upper limit is 2. That is equal to minus 5 by 6. Our next question, evaluate double integral over r f of x y da for f of x y equal to 1 minus 6 x square y over the region r 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 minus 1 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 1. Verify that the change in the order of integration does not affect the result. Solution is as follows. Double integral over R f of x y da can be written as integral minus 1 to 1 integral 0 to 2 
1 minus 6x square y dx dy. That is equal to integral minus 1 to 1. We know that integral of 1 is x. x minus 2x cube y. Lower limit is 0, upper limit is 2 dy. That is equal to integral minus 1 to 1. 2 minus 16y dy. That is equal to 2y minus 8y square. Lower limit is minus 1 to 1. When we are applying, we get 4. Reversing the order of integration, we have double integral over r f of xy dA equal to integral 0 to 2 integral minus 1 to 1 1 minus 6x square y dy dx that is equal to integral 0 to 2 y minus 3x square y square lower limit is 0 upper limit is 1 dx that is equal to integral 0 to 2 1 minus 3x square minus minus 1 minus 3x square dx that is equal to integral 0 to 2 2 dx equal to 2 into x lower limit is 0 upper limit is 2 that is equal to 4 hence the order of integration does not affect the result our next question is evaluate integral over 0 to 1 integral over 0 to 2 x y x minus y dx dy solution is as follows integral over 0 to 1 integral over 0 to 2 x y into x minus y dx dy which is equal to integral over 0 to 1 integral over 0 to 2 we are multiplying then we will get x square y minus x y square dx dy that is equal to first we may integrate with respect to x then integral 0 to 1 x cube y by 3 minus x square y square by 2 lower limit is 0 upper limit is 2 dy that is equal to integral over 0 to 1 8 by 3 y minus 2 y square dy that is equal to 8 by 6 y square minus 2 by 3 y cube lower limit is 0 upper limit is 1 when we are calculating we will get the final answer is 2 by 3. Example 4. Evaluate i equal to integral 0 to 1 integral 1 to 2 x square y square dx dy. Solution is i equal to integral 0 to 1 integral 1 to 2 x square plus y square dx dy that is equal to integral 0 to 1 x cube by 3 plus x y square lower limit is 1 upper limit is 2 dy that is equal to integral 0 to 1 8 by 3 in minus 2 y square minus 1 by 3 plus y square dy that is equal to integral 0 to 1 7 by 3 plus y square dx that is equal to 7 by 3 y plus y cube by 3 lower limit is 0 upper limit is 1 when we are calculating this one we will get the final answer is 8 by 3 our last question is evaluate i equal to integral 0 to 3 integral 0 to 2 x y dy dx solution i equal to integral 0 to 3 integral 0 to 2 x y dy dx that is equal to integral 0 to 3 x into integral 0 to 2 y dy dx that is equal to integral 0 to 3 x into y square by 2 lower limit is 0 upper limit is 2 dx that is equal to 2 into integral 0 to 3 x dx which is equal to x square upper limit is 0 sorry lower limit is 0 upper limit is 3 therefore its final answer is 9 minus 0 that is 9 is our final answer okay got the idea please write down on your notebook if you have any doubt then please write on the comment box below
Thank you for watching. For more educational videos, please subscribe our channel.